Why? What happens when the fire of God falls? I'm just going to share with you 15 to 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes quickly before we go. Hallelujah. What happens to you when the fire of God falls upon you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Somebody shout glory. Amen. There is always a reason when the fire of God falls. When the anointing of God falls upon an individual. But very quickly, I want to look at something that um, we've looked on before in time past. Hallelujah. Time past, we've looked at it, but I want us to really pay attention to what we're about to read. Oh my goodness. Seriously? Jesus, Lord help us. Lord help us. All right. Let's quickly open our Bible to the book of... Uh, um, I want to I wanna declare something of commanding your money. Hallelujah. The book of Job 38. Job 38. This Job 38 came right on time. It came during the time where... Uh, things begin to happen in men hallelujah this man has gone through so much fire so much wilderness so much experience and sometimes he began to call upon the lord and you remember that this battle came as a result of testings this battle came as a result of a man to prove his stand with god hallelujah and the devil was given permission to wreck everything around job but not to touch his soul so the fire of god fell even even though he, sicknesses was manifesting even though the devil was manifesting all kinds of sickness around Job, but his life was being preserved. Hallelujah. The accusation went around and his whole finances went bankrupt. And he knew, the devil knew, that in order for his life to be restored, he needed to offer a sacrifice before God. And it was true sacrifice, a daily sacrifice for his children, for his life, in which he used the animals to sacrifice before God. God increased him. And so whatever you sacrifice to the Lord, the Lord will always increase. Whatever is your money, your time, God will give you more abundantly. If you sacrifice your friends for the Lord, God will give you more friends. Whatever you sacrifice for the kingdom, hallelujah. And so this was a man who was always slaughtering animals, amen. And he got the favor of God. Because that is the only way you can receive prayers from God in those days. Making atonement for your sins through the animal sacrifice. So daily, daily he began to offer sacrifices and the devil came. He knew, he said, okay, you know what? Since you always offer sacrifice for your children, for your family, I'm going to destroy this. He began to release fire left and right. Consume the cattle, consume this, and consume that. Amen. Hallelujah. But there was something that happened. Let's go back to Job. Job, 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 uh, Job chapter 1 or 2. And let's just read. Let's, let's go there and just study some few things. And then we move. We move. Kati brado zobrahata la Look at what it says. Uh, mm. In verse 4, And the sons went and fasted, feasted in his, their houses, everyone his day, everyone his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent sanctified them rose up early in the morning you remember this now he rose up early not at night he rose up early what is early and then in that time it was symbolized that early means 5 a.m in the morning early means before daybreak before it becomes bright he rose up early amen now their feast was gone and that job sanctified them rose up early in the morning offered burnt offering amen burnt offering according to the number of them all so all the children were about seven so he began to offer burnt offering for job said it may be that my sons have seen and have caused god in their hearts thus did job did continually so every day while they partied he was always killing about seven animals every day that was huge sacrifice and there was a day when the sons of god came to present themselves before the lord and satan came among them and the lord said to satan when comes thou, then Satan answered and said, From going to and fro through the earth, from walking up and down. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him, 
in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feared the Lord and Yeshua evil. Then Satan answered and said to the Lord, Does Job fear God for nothing? As, as, and does not thou made an edge about him and about his house and all that he had on every side? As thou blessed the work of his hands and his substance increased in the land? Put forth thy hand now and touch all that he had and he will cause thee to thy face. You see how the devil began to manipulate God. The devil began to use his words to manipulate. Now if the, if God, the devil had said, yes, you're right, he obeys you. That would have been the end of the story. But Lucifer began to manipulate God. He began to bring God in the contest. Amen. He began to bring God in the contest. It was a different story. And so we begin to see now, it says, And the Lord said unto Satan, he said, Behold, all that is in thy power, all that he had is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth the hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of God. And God said, everything is in your power now. Since you want to prove that what? He is righteous. Hallelujah. And that is what Satan does. We need to be very careful how we boast about our friends. How we boast about our helpers. How we boast about our wives. How we boast about our husband. Because the moment you begin to open your mouth and begin to say, my husband is the best. My husband, my wife is the best. Is this is the best, is the best, is the best. I have seen in, 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 in there is nobody that is like my husband, there is nobody like my wife, or there's nobody like my son or my daughter. The moment that word goes forth, amen. You come into a place now of attack. Hallelujah. And that is what happens. Amen. God spoke. The same mistake happened in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Eve also spoke. The devil went to and fro, and he came before Eve. As God commanded you not to eat any of this fruit, oh, the day we eat it, we shall die. And the devil began to conspire. So the devil is not strong until you give him information. It's true information that the devil can render an attack against you. All of us, we need to put our hand in our mouth and close our mouths. Sometimes we need to announce, anoint our tongues when we come before our enemies. Amen. Many times we, pro, we, we, we speak too much. We speak ahead of time. Amen. We declare things that should, we, should, we shouldn't declare. Hallelujah. And so by, so by so doing, the devil begins to influence, attack, and manipulate our destiny. I decree that if you are, one in, one in, you are in such categories, the Lord will rescue, the Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so we see that God put everything into the hands of uh, the Lucifer, except Job's soul. Everything. I, I, this is very, very scary. He says what? But put forth thy hand now. And, and it says, no, but put forth thy hand now. Verse 11. In the book of Job chapter 1. Touch all that he had, and he will curse thee to thy face. This was a challenge. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had is in thy power. Wow. Meaning, the children, every, all his possessions, everything that made Job who he was. God is now saying, the devil is in your hands now. And that's all the devil wanted to hear. It's in your hands. It's in your hands. There are many things. There are many things that has happened in the life of people. That when you begin to boast about the sources of your children, He's doing scholarship, he's doing well. And the person you are speaking to does not even, his children is, doesn't have kids. Neither is his kids gone to school or gone, you know, has a scholarship. And so when you begin to boast like this, the spirit of envy is being provoked within him. And then he goes into a place whereby he begins to cross you, he begins to imagine evil against you. Before you know it, your children cannot even remember anything. The devil begins to use powers against you. Hallelujah begins to affect you, begin to attack you, begin to attack everything. That is why it's not good for you to begin to proclaim the, the good things in your life, the testimonies about you, because there's one person that will not celebrate with you. There's always one person that will be used by the devil to begin to curse that which has become a blessing in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. And there, and so Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord, and there a day and there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking in the elder's brother's house. There came a messenger unto Job and said, Thy husbands were blowing and the asses were feeding beside them. And the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants of the edge 
with the edge of the sword, and I am only escaped alone. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is falling from heaven and burnt up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and only I am escaped. Can you imagine? All these, the devil was doing all these things. He was destroying the sacrifices. Now, if the children were destroyed and the sacrifices were remained, Job would have sacrificed to God. And God, per adventure, would have heard. And that is what happens. Anything that you will use to assist God, the devil will come after. And God, and this is what happened. Look at this. Look at what it says in the next chapter. Verse, verse 17. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, The Chaldeans came out three bands and fell upon thy, thy camels and carried them away. And yea, and slain the servants with an edge. Now the devil began to attack left and right. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, Thy sons and daughters were eating and drinking in their brother's house. And behold, there gave me a great wind from the wilderness, a wind, and smote the four corners of the house. And it fell upon the young men, and they were dead. That's weird. A great wind came from the wilderness, smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young young men. So there was tornado. So the devil took over breakthroughs on tornadoes and winds. So the elements of the earth was also influenced by the devil. Job arose, raised up, rent his garment, shaved his head, and fell down upon the ground and worshiped God. Hallelujah. So we begin to see now that the, within that the devil began to wipe away so many of his blessings he began to wipe away even the blessings of god upon his life it was so terrible amen and so then we begin to see the decline in job's life job began to go from grace to grass somebody said because he was arrogant i don't see that this guy who has been helping the poor he has been helping a lot of people in the city he's been doing stuff amen hallelujah but god wanted to promote him out so thereby god began to allow such things to happen to purify him to elevate him Amen. It seems like, oh my goodness, you go allow my sons to die. No, they didn't die. God would have made sure they come to heaven. Uh, I don't think, amen. God would have made sure they come to heaven. Amen. Remember this now. When you are a when you are a trailblazer, God so much we Yes, there definitely. Amen. God will always allow the power of God. God will always allow you, amen, amen, to obey, to walk in the footsteps of the Lord. To fulfill his commandments amen hallelujah but when we look let's go to job that job began to go through a lot he was the main man in those olden days before abraham well this is one of the oldest books called job so god began to use him to prosper god began to god used him so much to be a blessing to everyone it was a generational blesser he was a giver he was the poor recognized him the elders recognized him he was the leader amen but God said, you know what? I want to purify this guy. I want to sanctify him. I want to increase him. I want to increase the fear of God upon him. Let me know that I'm a God that restores. Amen. Hallelujah. So God took him on a journey. That if 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 I could bless you, I could also wipe away everything. And at some point, I could demand everything from you. Hallelujah. So when we see this, amen, we begin to understand that. Let's quickly go to our Bible, the book of Job 38. And this is one scripture that, um, the one scripture that, was given to, to, to Job after he went through his criticism. Uh, Job 38. Job 38. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. So, Job went before all this. He has gone through all kind of trials, afflictions, mockery by his friends. Too many things. Amen. Too many things. And I began to wonder, Lord, what do I do? This is too much. Are you really dead? Do you really love me? Do you really die for me? What is going on? Why is my life so much in wreck? And this was the questions. Amen. Hallelujah. Normally, normally in our time, in our life, we will need a prophet to prophesy to us. And in such cases, sometimes the prophet will not even speak. The Lord will not allow a prophet to say, Oh, thus says the Lord, there is a battle going on against you, between God and you, if you will cause God and die. No. In fact, if a prophet comes to you or comes to Job and prophesy that situation, what they will say is that the Lord says, Be encouraged. Be encouraged. This shall pass away. And that is sometimes that's what you will always hear. And you'll be like, Why is the prophet not going deep into my matter? If it's from the Lord, if the Lord permits it, the Lord will, that's what the Lord will say. Be encouraged. Be encouraged in your faith. Don't give up. And the devil was looking for how he can steal the crown from Job. The only person that caused God, or the only person that really caused God, was the wife. The wife of Job. It wasn't stated there. 
when job, job's wife began to minister to job against god it was apparent that the devil has taken over her and uh wasn't even written there. Amen? But we see that when God wants to re release, when God wants to take you, when God wants to snatch you, your time, when God has seen that your um, your warfare is over, when the hour and the moment the Lord is saying your warfare is over, once that word comes forth, that your warfare is over, and wants to redeem and change your situation, He gives you an instruction. It's not an instruction that releases your prosperity. In Job 38, it began to Job God began to say, As I commanded that money since thy days to know that to know that to know his place. In verse 12, verse 12, has thou commanded the money since thy days and caused the day spring to know his place? Has thou commanded thy money since thy days and caused the day spring to know his place? What are you talking about? Big, I should command the money. Yes that it might take hold of the ends of the earth that the wicked might be shaken out of it god is telling job your warfare is coming from a devil hiding in your heavens if the fire came from the heavens if the wind came and destroyed and, your, and destroyed the house and knocked your sons and your, your daughters and they died a wind came people began to come and invade he says well son for you to come out from this affliction and attack you must address the money you must address the day to know his place. Look at what it says again. Has thou commanded since thy days and caused the day spring to know his place? That it might take hold of the hands of the earth. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. It is a must that when we begin to pray in our heavens, we need to really shake off every works of the devil every projections of evil that has invaded our heavens if we don't pray if we don't shake this uh, wickedness in our heavens we we'll begin to dream our prosperities will be wiped out demons in our heavens snakes and dogs in our heavens we we'll begin to dream all kinds of nonsense trying to oppress us at night why because there are demons in our heavens but when you shake and dislodge them by the powers of god when you shake them out by the fire of prayer you will see that your heavens will be clear. You will begin to hear the voice of God. You will begin to move smoothly. Things will begin to arrive. When God begins to send a blessing like he was sending a blessing to Daniel, no devil or prince of Persia will be able to withstand or withhold your prayers because of the force of prayer, because your heavens has now been cleansed. This is the same prayers that God was speaking to Job, to, to Daniel. You continue your prayers so that the heavens can be clear, so that the prince of Persia will not withhold your prayers. Hallelujah. And this was what happened. So as you begin to pray in the realms of the Spirit, pray in the Holy Ghost, you will see you will active, activate angelic and you will activate the angelic realm and the host of heaven. And they will begin to create a portal in the heavens. Angels will begin to descend and ascend. There will be no traffic. Hallelujah. Angels expressly will begin to come upon your life and will begin to descend upon you. The fire of God will begin to fall upon you because why? His glory is not being released upon you. I want us to really get ready in this season. Something is about to happen. <laughs> Text me. Hallelujah. You need to pray for the Pope, baptism of the Holy Ghost. Text me. Amen. If you have my number, let me give it to you now. 612. Write it down. 701-5983. 612-701-5983. Text me. I will pray with you. 612-701-5983. You can join us on our prayer line. 952-955. Five four and uh, nine four five five four. Hallelujah! Glory to God! Glory to God! Amen. What I was saying, Amen. So we see in this season that something begin to happen, Amen. And when Job begin to take advantage of this, we see something in the Scripture. Hallelujah! That God begin to tell tell, tell the brothers, He said, "Listen, it is time. You you go you go you your family and the rest take some animals and go and meet Job. Let him pray for you. Hallelujah! Amen." And we see now that when God begins to answer the life of Job, hallelujah, that uh, uh, look at what it says in verse 7, Job chapter 42. Job 42. Job 42, verse 7. You say something that is very, very powerful. I decree the blessings and the grace of God upon your life that you will never from today, from today, from today, 
every manifestation of evil against your life in your dreams in your career in your ministry in your workplace is hereby banished and arrested in the name of jesus christ i decree your heavens to be open i decree for the fire of god to fall upon you and the favor of god to overshadow you from today in the name of jesus christ every counsel of the wicked ministry against your life testifying against you i shut down that evil counsel i shut down that evil counsel by the power in the blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus in job to the chapter 42 verse 7 and it was so that after the lord had spoken these words unto job the lord said unto eliphaz and to terminat my wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two brothers friends why would the lord wait all this time after they made a mistake they spoke against job why would the lord wait all this time it means that job was also in rebellion because he didn't curse God, but he was in a place of murmuring, in a place of murmuring, it was a place of anger. Hallelujah. And uh, because he was embarrassed, his, his, his pride was, he was hurt emotionally. He was embarrassed that he was a man that was supplying and being a wealthy blessing to his friends. And yet his friends could not even be of help when he needed it. Hallelujah. But Job began to cry. He began to pray. Lord, see my friends. I'm being betrayed left and right. Look at what is going on. Look at the shame. Look at the ridicule. And God said, command, wake up in the morning, command the days, command the night, that the wicked may be shaken out of it. He began to take advantage. He began to command the morning, command the day. And as a result of commanding, <laughs> hallelujah, amen, as Job began to command, as Job began to pray, he began to pray. Look at what happened. That's true. Hallelujah. Look at what, it, look at what, look at, look at what happened. You know, we're not talking about the Israelites. We're just talking about uh, the, the story of Job. Hallelujah. When now Job, all his animals were gone. No wife, nothing was alone. At that point, it's very sad to disregard the man of God. Job was a man of God in his time. He was here in the verse of God. He didn't have a church, but he was a man that loved God. Look at what he said after all this wrath. But after Job began to pray in his morning, began to command his morning, began to shake the wicked out of his heavens. God now moved ahead and began to convict his friends. It was so, hallelujah, verse 8. Therefore, take unto you now seven bullocks, seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up for yourself a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you. For him will I accept, lest I deal with you after your folly, in that ye have not spoken of me, the thing in the night, like my servant Job. You see? And so Eliphaz, Terminat, be that, and Shuhit, Shuhite, and Zophar, the Namanith, went and did according to the Lord had commanded them. And the Lord accepted Job. Look at what that. The Lord accepted Job. <laughs> the Lord accepted Job. Remember that. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. So, in other words, Job was downcast. He was upset in his heart. He didn't cause God. But he was offended, he was heartbroken, he was emotionally wounded, he had unforgiveness. He apologized before the Lord when his friends came back and says, we are sorry. He was not healed from the pain, from the betrayer, and he too says, Lord, I'm sorry. And the Lord accepted him. He said, the Lord also accepted Job. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. So Job was in captivity. He was in serious oppression. Job was in serious captivity. And when he had prayed for his friends, the Lord gave Job twice your heart. Are you hearing me today? Sometimes those who have mocked you might not have done it intentionally. You might have done it because of the manipulation and the forces of darkness. And sometimes we need to release our friends. But sometimes too, because of this attack, Job, amen, because of this attack, Job, Glory to God. K pro bo sum bladaya. Elebre de rebebe rebebe aparandas. Zedebe de rebebe aparandoro bobo shikala badalas. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, because Job today, amen, Job was a man somehow that um, we see that after he didn't have any sacrifice to offer before the Lord. Sacrifice is a powerful thing. I mean, burnt offering. And so when his brothers came and they, uh, his friends came and they brought an offering before him, 
Job used this and he began to pray. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And also Job gave Job, the Lord gave Job twice as he had. All those who have conspired against you, all those who have spoken negatively of you, all those who have disappointed you, lift them up in prayer. Even when you are going through your crisis. All this will add to your promotion. And as a result of the burnt offering that was released, Amen, God began to release something upon Job. And it was a blessing. The Bible says God gave Job twice as he had. It was a blessing. Now, in verse 12, look at what it says in verse 12. Uh, let's read verse 11. Then came there unto him all of his brethren and his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. They bemoaned him and comforted him all over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. It wasn't the Lord, it was the devil. And every man also gave him a piece of money, every one an earring of gold. And so the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of horses, and a thousand sheep asses. And, and he had also seven sons, three daughters. And he called the name first Jemima, the name second one uh, Kezia. Amen. Hallelujah. The word Jemima means day by day. Hallelujah. Day by day. Second one Kezia. What is Kezia? What does it mean? Kezia, hallelujah. It's one of the Kasia, one of the one of the things that was added as an ingredient, amen, for the oil. One of the most powerful, powerful, powerful ingredients. Kasia. I don't have time to go into that. Amen. Hallelujah. The name of the third one is Karen Hapush. Karen Hapok. Hallelujah. The horn of what? My testimony. The horn of my testimony. Hallelujah. And the land where no women found so fair the daughters of Job, and their fathers gave them inheritance among their brethren. And Job lived 140 40 years and saw his sons and his daughters and his sons' sons, even the fourth generation. So Job died in being old and full of days. His children, his wife, were his daughters were very beautiful, extremely beautiful. I mean, very beautiful. His sons too were very beautiful. Hallelujah. But God manifested his glory. It was a blessing, a huge blessing, a huge blessing. So I want to thank God for what is going on. I thank God for the blessings of God upon our lives and our destiny. Let's keep the faith of God. Let's keep praying. Let's keep seeking. Let's keep pressing on. In spite of the storms that have been released, never be mad at God. It's immaturity to be very mad at God. It's immature. It's immaturity. It means you don't really know God. Never show your anger on God. Amen. Hallelujah. Love God to the uttermost. Let nothing shake your love for God. In spite of the storm, still glorify Him. You might not, not understand everything. God might not reveal everything to you. But still keep your heart on God. I will bless you and I thank God for you dialing up with us today. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will cause His face to shine upon you. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. I thank God for you joining us today. You want to join us again? Meet with us same time tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. 5 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. 5 a.m. in the morning, which is going to be 6 o'clock the Eastern time. And the prayer line number is 952-955-9454. Hallelujah. 9454. Hallelujah. I hope you've been blessed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, I release the strength of God upon you. I release the grace of God upon everyone listening to me. That the power of God will keep you standing. The Lord will keep you, strengthen you. The Lord will be your guide. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that, Lord, you, God will sustain you. The Lord will keep you from falling. From today, in the name of Jesus, every attempt of the devil against you is broken from today. Limitations are breaking from your life. I speak open doors upon your destiny. You will begin to experience open doors from today. Those who are looking for jobs, receive jobs, receive new jobs in the name of Jesus. Every allegation raised against you at your job place, today I scatter it, I destroy it, I cover it with God's grace. I cover it with the mercies of God. I decree that you are redeemed from the afflictions of the wicked. I decree that no body, no mouth will testify against you. May the terror of the Lord scatter every camp raised against your life. I decree in the name of Jesus that from today, 
your dreams are worry free terror free and act free in the name of jesus i release the blood over your dreams i activate angels around your life that you are protected and covered in the blood may you access that secret place i declare no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every hanging judgment in your bloodline is broken and cancelled forever in jesus name we pray the lord bless you the lord keep you if you want to join us on whatsapp our whatsapp page give me a call amen hallelujah send me a text 612-701-5983 612-701-5983 send me a text amen hallelujah and i will add you on whatsapp hallelujah you are blessed forever forever and ever hallelujah your life will never be the same again in jesus name we pray amen 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 god bless you hallelujah and don't forget our fasting continues our liquid fast today either smoothie water juice uh, you can go grind your pineapple or grind it up amen hallelujah anything for the kingdom hallelujah any quick question before we go any quick question before we go i can't hear you what Six one two seven zero one five nine eight three. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bless you. All right. Yes. You say what? You can drink any time, but it's 24 hours. It's uh, it's it's uh, from now till from Tuesday all the way to Saturday. So it's gonna be 20, it's gonna be you. There's not gonna be any solid food till till you break your fast on Saturday. Huh? I can't hear you. You say what? I can't hear you. What do you say? Hello? No, no, some of them were saying if you can blend the stuff earlier on. Yes, you can blend it, yes. No, but if they blend it, it's like eating the food. It's not it's like it's not like I'm just saying it's liquid. It's a fruit fast, smoothie fast, yes. Yes, I see you can eat soup. You can also be blend, not eat solid. No, 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 no. It's not different. It's, it's, it's different. And I, what I'm saying is that you can blend or you can grind it. But don't eat it solid. It's a, it's a fruit fast, vegetable fast. It's a fruit fast, sorry. Now, what am I saying? It's a liquid fast. <laughs> I don't want to get confused here. All right? It's a liquid fast. Any, any is is a liquid fast, and uh, if you can't, uh, what do they call it? For those who are hearing the sound of my voice, Amen. I say liquid, is smoothie, coffee, your soup, water, Amen. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Hallelujah. Is any everybody? Do you understand? Let me agree with you. Father, give us the strength. Everybody, the strength to do this fast. From today all the way to Saturday, in the name of Jesus, I decree strength upon them, strength physically to fulfill this fast, to carry us through, O oh God, O oh Spirit of God, in Jesus' name, Amen, Amen. You are blessed forever. Hallelujah, Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. What's your name, sir? Huh? Oh yeah. Sunday. Yes, 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 yes. We yes, we met briefly. We met briefly. Okay, God. I'm from oh really? God bless you, sir. God bless you. Really? Yeah. Yes. So we met at the Sunday the uh, on Sunday, right? Yes, we met when you came right in out there, uh, your man introduced me to you. Okay, okay. We just, we just we're sitting 
are the other people who are sitting to my left. You greeted them. Yeah. Okay, okay. No problem. It is well, huh? God bless you. God bless. So you 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 send me a text. So I add you on WhatsApp. All right. Okay. All right now. Blessings. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody, where well, God bless you. Have a good day now. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Everybody, God bless you. Bye-bye. Mm.